Hi, my name's Alan Stagg and I'm here with Enterprise Tackle today, uh, just talking for a few rigs and this is one of my favourite big pit rigs that I use for big bream, tench and carp. Now a lot of my fishing in the spring and the summer is done on real big southern pits uh, where pretty much there's not many fish in the lake but a lot of them are really big and I'm just looking to catch basically whatever I can. Now it's basically this rig, dead simple one, it's just a standard leg clip set up but the important bit is this end bit and here on the end as you can see we've just got two pieces of the new super soft enterprise corn here now the top one is a buoyant piece and the bottom one is a sinking piece and what you'll find is when this rests on the lake bed it will just sit really slowly and then once it reaches the bottom it will just sit up like that nicely and balanced now I normally fish this with a small PVA bag of pellets or a little stick of ground bait and that has two main effects in that Firstly, it will help prevent any tangles, so you know you're fishing perfectly every cast. And then secondly, it just gives that little pile of food for the fish to home in on. And then they'll suck up this critically balanced two pieces of corn, and you'll get your bite. Now, there's two little tips for this one. I love flavouring all of my corn. Now, you can use normal flavours like Esterberry, which is a blinding flavour for bream. Or one of my really favourite ones at the moment that Chris has just brought out is the Beetlein. Now that's an awesome sweet nut for bream and I normally fish this on at least two of my three rods when fishing over big beds of ground bait. It definitely helps the fish home in on the hook bait when there's loads of food out there so definitely give this one a try. Now my second tip which is a real nice one is these little hair stops that come free with the packet. Now on a lot of corn when you're fishing double pieces they can separate on the hair. Now these little spikes prevent that and the hook bait always sits perfectly like this on the cast so you know you're on a real winner and that your hook bait's not being separated and the bottom piece or the top piece is being pushed down towards the hook shank so you know every time your hook bait's sitting perfectly on the lake bottom. Okay you get these free hair stops with the new super soft corn from Enterprise now a lot of people get confused when using these so I'm just going to run through how to use them it's a dead simple process um, I've just got a length of braid here and I'm just going to thread on two pieces of the corn now I'm going to put the sinking one on first and then I'm going to follow it with a buoyant one so we end up with a critically balanced presentation which is what I prefer when I'm fishing on some big pits for bream, tench, carp, those kind of species so just put these on. As you'll notice this corn is really really soft and that's what I really like about it, it's quite lifelike so let's just thread these on. Okay now moving on to the stop I've left quite a big loop on the end there as you can see and we've just got almost like a coat hanger style there so I'm just going to push that in now this is the interesting bit the good design of these stops and that if you're using say double baits or three baits or a, a piece of a boily tip with a piece of corn you can use this you just pull it down and it will make sure just pull it right down like so that those baits will always stay together and let's say the top one won't move back up towards the hook once it's hooks tied on and your hook bait's always going to sit perfectly so now I'm just going to finish the rig and just to do that I'm just going to take a, a size 8 hook that we've got here thread it through and just tie a dead simple knotless knot I'm just going to pull it down like so That's about the right length I like to use. I like to have quite a small hair. Just whip it around the shank. Through the back, like so. And there you go, it's a dead simple rig, but it's one of my favourite ones when fishing on big pits for bream, tench and carp. Devastating.